Hey y'all, and welcome back to my room. I know it's been a few days, but I really needed to take those few days um, just to have a little bit of a break. My face has had nothing on it, and of course now that I'm talking, the bird wants to go crazy. Um, anyway, hi, if you're new here, my name is Ashley, um, and this is just what I do, okay? That's what, that's just what I do. I do makeup and I know things. So, um, anyway, I have kind of a fun video today. Um, and I thought about this actually all day yesterday and for a couple days, really. So, I am super excited to do this. Um, if you're interested in seeing what I got going on today, keep watching. <laughs> I knew it and the ones that really just shook me up okay are you ready for this oh man okay so I have a few people that when I hear them talk about something or I am watching their videos and they're like oh I really like this Andrea being one of those I've actually bought a good many things based off of her recommendations and actually really loved them. So I knew the new it's for me were both of the, the Catrice foundations, the True Skin way before Tati talked about it and the HD foundation. Okay. I knew that those were going to be beautiful. So then when I was on TikTok. Here we are with this Maybelline the 4-in-1 Perfector Glow Makeup. I this this makeup still every time I put it on shakes me up. I just didn't realize how beautiful it really was gonna be. Everybody says it's a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I can't vouch for that. I own nothing Charlotte Tilbury because money, okay? But I wear this as a foundation and as my concealer and it is so stunning absolutely shook me up so we already know that elf has like this amazing putty bronzer we absolutely love it 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 falls in that same department as with the putty blushes that we still really love and it's beautiful I've heard makeup by mario those things are things that i know for a fact without a doubt are going to be absolutely beautiful so i knew it i knew it the thing that shakes me up you ask these la girl velvet sticks they absolutely shake me up turn me upside down and just look, look how beautiful. Just, they blend so easily and they are absolutely stunning. If you hear snoring in the background, Lane is still asleep, if you can imagine. Continuing on with my LA girl shook me up little thingy. I know for a fact, putty blushes are amazing from e.l.f. Y'all know I already know that the Milanis are stunning. Um, Rare Beauty is fine. It's very pigmented. So, I tried Flower Beauty. And it is absolutely gorgeous. It is gorgeous. So gorgeous. But I already knew that it would be. Because, hello, Drew Barrymore. Like, it's so stunning. They are. They are so beautiful so easy to put on and I'm speaking of the gel sticks because that that's such a cool design and I actually really love it but again I found this LA girl velvet stick and holy moly like they shake me up they the price shakes me up the application shakes me up and they are stunning oh my god all right y'all know y'all know I love my IT Cosmetics Hello Light Cream. 
So when I go on a, a, a hunt for something different that's kind of in that caliber, I, I, I feel like that's really hard when you have something that you are absolutely in love with and now you kind of want to find something that maybe is a better price point or in a, a you know, a better, even better product. And I think I did that with this Flower Beauty Day Glow. I absolutely love this. But what's gonna happen is Elf's gonna come out, I can fill it in my bones with a putty highlight, or I'm gonna find this LA Girl light stick because it probably already exists, and then this will become the I knew it, and then those will shake me up. Like makeup is always shocking me. It really is. So everybody knows it's no secret. I love my ColourPop setting spray because of that fresh, dewy glow. I love it. I knew it was going to be perfect. But I picked up this Catrice Shake Fix Glow Spray Hydrating plus Cactus Flower and Pineapple at Extract. And you shake it up and you give your face a, a spritz. And just look at it. Look how beautiful that looks. It shook me up. It's still shaking me up. I love the way it smells. It smells wonderful. And you look so pretty. Look. Yes, girl. It's no secret. I really love eyeshadow. It's my favorite product, I would say. Really. Like, it's my favorite. Today, I'm going to be using the Lipsy Gypsy Goddess Palette. This is up for pre-order right now. It'll be the last one that she does. If you missed this beautiful baby, don't miss out on, on it again. But every fiber of my being knows Lipsy Gypsy is going to be fantastic. La Baluba is going to be fantastic. Natasha Denona is going to be fantastic. Urban Decay, Huda, um, Melt, well, Melt, give or take, it's kind of a hit or miss situation. Colourpop, we all know that these are just going to be fantastic. That's how they're made. They're absolutely gorgeous. No palette I get from these brands make me think, oh, this is going to be terrible. It's that I know without a doubt these palettes are going to be phenomenal. But the things that shock me are the ones that I don't see coming. That I purchase on a whim because I pass it in a store. But it's not something that I planned. Lipsy Gypsy, La Balula, those are brands that I work very close with. They are like sisters to me. They're absolutely phenomenal. Brands like Colourpop and Natasha Denona and Urban Decay, um, Melt. Huda, Ofra, all these brands are brands that I already hold near and dear to my heart and I already know that they are just fantastic. So when I don't see a certain thing coming, a brand coming, a brand that's about to just knock the socks right off me, those are the ones that like really just shock me. So the brands that really seem to be shaking me up are these ones that you don't ever really think about, that you don't expect, expect. You pass them in the store and you're like, eh, it's whatever kind of thing. But LA Girl Nine Pants have shocked me to the point I get so many compliments when I'm wearing them, I absolutely cannot believe it. But then, there's also W7. It's a brand that I used so long ago, and I actually got rid of all of them. It's when they were in the hard tins. Now they come in the cardboard, and it's like the formula is a thousand times better. It's absolutely beautiful. It really shocked me. It shocked me to my core that this $5 palette was so beautiful. Same with the LA Girl. They're like 8 or $9 absolutely beautiful 
those are the ones that shake me up because I know, obviously, look at this, this beautiful Lipsy Gypsy palette who outdoes herself each step of the way. Same with La Balula, outdoes herself each step of the way. Naked Eye outdoes herself each step of the way. And it, they're so beautiful and you know that. So it's these kind of um, small drugstore brands that just really shook me I'm just gonna say this part super quick. You don't need me to harp on it. Essence is a rediscover favorite. I absolutely love it. I know that it is a dream. But this Oma Beauty by Sharon C Level Up Mascara has become like top of the line for me. And I'm betting if I used the Essence in the Oma together, they would be phenomenal. I mean, I get the volume that I want with this and it dries so quick. I mean, I really, really love it. All right, y'all, and this is the final look today. I went ahead and threw on um, a Coco Lux lash. I actually trimmed this down to be a half lash because I'm learning that full lashes don't really work for me. They work better if I do them in this half lash style. I threw on the LA Girl Vivid Eyeliner on the bottom and my lips are from Wonderstruck Cosmetics. And then I just have um, the ColourPop liquid liner, the BFF liquid liner um, on the top. Um, and that is, that is it for me today. These are things that I knew were going to be hits for me and things that really did just blow my mind a little bit. Um, and I hope that I can, I continue to find makeup that does that for me. Um, it makes you so interested. It, it intrigues you to dive deeper and, um, find even more things that really take you to a whole nother level. Um, and show you that but just from when I first started doing makeup uh, holy moly t almost 20 years ago 20 years ago before YouTube days before all of that to now it's in it's insane the progress we have made um, in creating products and formulating them and even people in the beauty community they've come such a long way um, so yeah I really enjoyed this I love this eyeshadow palette so much Shanna did such a good job like I love her to pieces this lip is like whoa mama I didn't realize I even had this lip um, so I wanted something dark and vampy for today and this is what I got and it is just, it is stunning. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, what are things that shock you or things that you knew for a fact you were going to love, but then you saw this other thing and you're like, what, what is this? Anyway, chat with me. Tell me what's up again. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be safe, be a light, spread love like glitter, and I'll see you next time. Bye.